Good evening, I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. At almost the same exact time the Torres and Ortiz families lay 11-year-old Brexia Lee to rest, a 16-year-old in court as the third person charged with murdering her. Police picked up the teen from a youth facility downstate. The Keys Bridges is charged with murder, attempted murder, and criminal possession of a weapon. The same charges against the other two suspects arrested. 18-year-old Rashawn Patterson, 20-year-old Davier Griswold. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan was in court for this third arraignment. Court paperwork is the reason News Channel 9 can report the name of DeKeese Bridges as the 16-year-old charged with murdering an 11-year-old. Police and the district attorney declined to share it. Judge Vanessa Bogan only used his initials in court but denied his attorney's request to keep reporters from observing the arraignment in an open public courtroom. Yes, sir, just a few questions about the no proceeding. Comment. Did your client explain to you what happened that night? I said no comment. Did you not hear me? That night, her client was in Syracuse on a furlough from a downstate youth facility, an assignment resulting from a family court matter that may never be revealed. That's where police got him. We have a warrant for his arrest. We notified the authorities down there. SPD went down, picked him up. Uh, I won't describe what happened uh, after that in the car. Did something of note happen in the car? It wasn't a quiet ride? Wouldn't I be talking about what happened in the car if I answered that question? Back in Syracuse, Bridges got some time with his mom, met with police, and then was moved to custody in Rochester. For his safety, the DA explains, Bridges is the youngest of the three suspects, each accused of firing their illegal guns and hitting Brexia Lee Torres Ortiz. She might have been mayor. She might have been DA. She might have been a, a doctor. I, I mean, just the, the, the skill and the... And the the, the exuberance and the, and the life that, that she had at just 11. The district attorney explained to me this afternoon that with each passing day, he feels his case against the three gets stronger. It's already scheduled to go before a grand jury for possible indictment next week. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.